We live in our RV full time, so if anything happened to it, we would be homeless. So when we leave the RV, we take every precaution. The first thing I do is turn off the water right here at the spigot so no water is going to the RV. We've had a couple of minor leaks in the RV, but luckily we were there when it happened. If we had a plumbing break while we were gone, it would be a flooding disaster and a really big cleanup. The other thing we do is turn off the gas at the propane tank. Make sure both tanks are off. But before we do that, we turn our gas hot water heater off here and we turn off our RV heater here. When your system tries to light, when the propane's off, eventually you're gonna get a DSI fault here. Way basically, the system is telling you that it tried to light and it couldn't light. And you may come back and that light will be on. You don't want to do that a lot because that could eventually cause your entire system to fail. If we're boondocking or dry camping and we're using our fridge on propane, if we go out for the day, we gotta remember to turn it from propane back onto electric. That way it'll run off our inverter and our lithium batteries while we're gone and we'll turn it back to propane when we get back. The great thing about having an inverter and lithium batteries is that we can run our fridge on electric while we're traveling down the road. Now a lot of people do travel with their propane fridge on. We prefer not to do that. We think it's dangerous. You could cause a fire in your RV. Plus you can't pull into gas stations with your propane on and you can't go through tunnels with them. So we just run it on electric and we keep our fridge nice and cold and we don't have to worry about propane fires. Do you turn your water and propane off before you go out for the day? And do you turn off your propane while you're traveling down the road? We want to hear your answer in the comments down below. Now, if you like this video and you want to see more, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking this link below. And I'll leave something right over here for you to check out next. And remember, downsizing does make sense.